All right. Four years of English. So um, I'm going to go over the stuff for you guys that you need to know today. If you have questions while I'm going over this, just raise your hand or put it in the chat. So for your citations that you need to have for your uh, work cited and your annotations, I Google Son of Citation. You can also Google EasyBib or whatever. Uh, if you know how to make your citations, that's great for you. This is a step-by-step -step of how to do it again. So I Google it. This is what pops up. <laughs> All right, back to the start. Uh, so this is where it starts. Obviously, you can select APA or Chicago. What are we doing for this class? MLA. Great. So I'm going to select MLA down on the bottom. Well, All right. So uh, this is what it's going to look like. Um, what are you guys typically, where are you getting most of your sources from? Website. Good, so I'm gonna click website. Let's zoom in. All right, so this is what pops up. You actually have to submit your URL right here. So I already have a source. I'm gonna copy my URL and put it right here. Then I hit search. So it actually uh, goes through the process of finding where your source come from, comes from and narrows it down. Here's my source, so I'm gonna hit cite. Great, this is the next page that pops up. It tells you, here's the information we found, here's the information you still need to get. Meaning, don't just hit done, you still need to fill in the publisher's information. All right, so here is all the information they found. They even found the author. One thing I want to note that a lot of people struggle with, unless it says a actual human being's name, don't include it. So if it says like the authors of encyclopedia, please don't include that. That's not a person. That's like a list of people and that's not what we want. So we do know that it's missing publisher. So this is something that we need to go in and fill out ourselves. How do I find the publisher? on this website, oh, fiddlesticks. It's yeah, it's at the very bottom. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this. Here is uh, my publisher. It's always next to this copyright. So you'll see this copyright, and then usually the year. And then what's next to that is the publisher. So I'm gonna put about incorporated. It's about there. It's like not even there. All right. Like so this is uh, what I have filled in. You're going to hit complete citation. And then it's going to pop up like this. So I have my citation written out. One thing I want you guys to make sure you're noting, when you have your citations, like here they are. Here's a great thing that you can do. You can make sure that your citations are all going to be in MLA format by seeing if it says MLA right here. Let's say you accidentally selected the wrong type. You can select this and change it to whatever you need it to be. And it's that easy. But for the sake of this English course, this is what your citation should be. Uh, so then I would just copy it and move it to my Works Cited. A couple things before we wrap up. Here's your citation. Let's say I need to include my fact from this source. What is my in-text citation for this source? Gordon. Gordon. And then what do I need to put after Gordon? The page number. So I wouldn't actually put a hashtag. I would put like one or two or whatever. All right. Imagine. Use your imagination. I knew you would do that. That this didn't have an author. Like nobody specifically wrote it. It was a bunch of people contributing. What would instead go here? Oh, the title and quotes. Yes, the title and quotation marks. I'm just writing title because it's obscenely long. Um, so it's from there all the way to there. Cool? Those are the only two options. Cool. Last thing. Um, about the work cited. So here, on yeah, right here, is an example work cited, right? 
on the right hand side. This is what it looks like. What do you notice about this? That it's an alphabetical order. It's an alphabetical order. You can do that on citation machine too. Yes, you can. What else do you notice? Yes, it has a hanging indent. I'm going to quickly show you how to do this in case you didn't know. So here is my citation, okay? I'm going to highlight it, zoom in so you can see it. If you go to format, align and indent, indentation options, and then you select hanging, it does it for you. Wow. Boom. Magic. Just like that. Just like that. Mm -hmm.